What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching The Road to Beast Wars. This is just a web series where we talk about the production of Transformers Rise of the Beasts. This is episode number 47, and you've read the title to this video, Which Autobot is Going to Die in Transformers Rise of the Beasts? I gotta ask this question because I like to speculate. And we're starting to get more and more clues as to what is going to happen in this movie. If you just look hard enough and somebody's gonna die. <laughs> Actually, I'm not entirely 100% sure about that. I mean, in every Transformers film, somebody dies, okay? Even in Bumblebee, Cliffjumper died. I just can't remember if in Transformers The Last Night anybody died because I just didn't watch it enough times or it's just a movie that is so bad that I want to forget about it. So I can't remember if anybody died. As far as I know, nobody actually died in Transformers Last Night in terms of Autobots, uh, but in all the other films, somebody bit the dust. All right, so who's it gonna be in Transformers Last, I mean, who's it gonna be in Transformers Rise of the Beasts? Well, Let's find out by going through all the different uh, Autobots. Now, I'm just gonna throw this out here. The obvious choice is Stratos Stratosphere. That's the obvious choice, okay? And that is because nobody has any attachment to Stratosphere, and that would be the easy choice, but it would be a little bit too obvious, okay? I feel like Stratosphere dying is like Jetfire dying because you know, he, he, although he did have an important part, he's, he's like a big, big Autobot. And, you know, he can't have that much screen time because they'd rather give a lot more screen time to the smaller Autobots and the main Autobots, like Optimus Prime and Bumblebee, right? But in any case, that would be the obvious choice, but I don't think that Stephen Cable Jr. is going to go that route, okay? So let's just go by process of elimination. Now, we're just talking Autobots here, okay? And we're not talking Maximals. Okay, um, we might go to Maximals after what I talk about, but um, let's just let's just go from top to bottom. Optimus Prime is not gonna die. Okay, straight up, we're not even gonna go through any near death experiences or or any type of experience where he dies and he comes back to life. We're not doing that because it's been done. It's been done in Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen. It's been done in Transformers: uh, uh, The Last Night because at the beginning of the last night he died okay and then he came back to life so uh, we're not doing that we're not doing optimus prime dying anymore um this is a um, a very g1-ish type of movie he already died in the 1986 movie we're not going through that again okay bumblebee is not going to die okay let's just throw that out there make no mistake about it bumblebee while he probably won't be the he won't be the main character of this film just like he was in the previous film and the other films he is still a beloved character, especially amongst children. Seeing, for kids, seeing Bumblebee die would be like, you know, the 80s kids seeing the 1986 uh, movie and watching Optimus Prime die. So that's not happening. Optimus Prime and Bumblebee are not dying. They're not dying and then coming back to life. They're just not seeing any near-death experience, okay? So that's not happening, okay? Now let's look at the other three Autobots. Who do we have? We got Wheeljack, we got... RC and we got uh, Mirage. We got Mirage, okay? So, hmm, RC is not going to die. Why do I think that? Because RC already died in Transformers Revenge of the Falling. We are not going through that again. You know, every, if, if RC dies again, she's going to become a meme. The Autobot, the Fembot that keeps on dying, okay? <laughs> like, she's just never... She just never gets to survive a, like a live action film, okay? So she's gonna become a meme. So like, no, RC is not dying, okay? And we wanna see um, RC live, okay? Who wants to see RC die? That's ridiculous, okay? Um, Mirage, is Mirage gonna die? I don't think so. I really don't think Mirage is gonna die. The reason why is because I, like in our, I mean, uh, uh, Mirage to Jazz in Transformers, the 2007 film. And Jazz was originally supposed to be, well, or, Jazz is a Porsche. Okay, Jazz is a Porsche. Okay, but they made him a Pontiac Solstice in the 2007 film. Okay, so he got ripped in half by Megatron. I just don't see a Porsche getting destroyed or an Autobot being destroyed in, uh, um, in, in, in Transformers Rise of the Beast. And the other reason why I don't believe it's gonna happen is because Porsche most likely does not want to see one of their characters or their, their cars as a robot character 
dying in battle. It's just not happening. It's kind of like how Ferrari has a deal that, you know, if you're going to give, um, if you're going to put him in our movie, he doesn't get to have guns and he's definitely not going to be destroyed. Okay. So just not happening. Okay. So, um, yeah, Mirage is going to survive. At least I think so. Now, what about Wheeljack? Wheeljack, I think that if anybody is going to be toast, it would be Wheeljack. I think he has the highest probability of dying amongst the six Autobots, okay? I say six of them because I'm including Stratosphere. Um, but then again, there's the variable that, well, Q in a way is Wheeljack. Um, in fact, uh, Wheeljack was a, the original Q. Like Wheeljack being in Transformers Dark of the Moon was an idea, okay? It was a concept. They just decided to name him Q. So technically, Wheeljack is in Transformers Dark to the Moon and he died, okay? So are they gonna pull that one again? Well, the fact is that even though these are both Micro Bay productions, Transformers Dark of the Moon and Transformers Rise of the Beast, he still views them, at least he would view them, as two completely different separate characters. So Q dying in Transformers Dark of the Moon is completely irrelevant to uh, Wheeljack dying in Transformers Rise of the Beast. So if anybody's gonna die, it's gonna be Wheeljack, okay? I'm just, I'm just really, really positive of that. If anybody's gonna die, look, it's either gonna go like this. Either one of them, uh, like none of them die, or Wheeljack dies, okay? It's that simple, okay? I don't, I don't believe Volkswagen has any issues with that. <laughs> I just don't, okay? So either none of them die, none of the Autobots die, or it is Wheeljack, okay? So that's my choice for Autobot. Now, what about Maximals? Are we gonna see any Maximals die? I think that if no uh, Autobots die, then it's gonna be a Maximal dying. But we're not gonna have both one Autobot and one Maximal die. It's not happening. That's too many good guy get deaths. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's just not happening. Can you imagine that? Like one of the one of the Autobots dying and then a Maximal dying? You know how many upset Transformers fans there will be? Can you imagine that? No, 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 that's not happening. If there's gonna be a death, it's gonna be either an Autobot death, Wheeljack, or it's gonna be a Maximal and somebody who we're gonna find, we're gonna talk it out right now. Who could it possibly be? So we got Air Razor, Optimus Primal, uh, Cheetor, and um, who's the last one? Cheetor and Rhinox, okay? So, Optimus Primal is not going to die. Let's just go process of elimination. Optimus Primal is definitely surviving. Air Razor is not going to die. Okay, you are not going to kill off Michelle Yeoh's character. Okay, you are not going to do that. Okay, so it comes down to um, Cheetor and Rhinox. So, for me, I think Rhinox is going to be the one to bite the dust. And the reason why I say that is because he is the least obvious choice. I mean, the reason why is because, well, you would think that he's super, super strong, but whoever he's gonna face off with, whether it be um, Battle Trap or Scourge, one of them or both of them is gonna beat the living daylights out of Rhinox. And Rhinox would take up that challenge because he's such a strong Maximal. As for Cheetor, I think he has the ability, the agility rather, and speed to run away from whatever's coming at him. So that's, like, he's using that ability and that skill um, to be able to, um, he's gonna use that to his advantage during a battle. But as for Rhinox, he's, you know, he's gonna take the hard punches and he might not be able to stop them all. Uh, but he's at least somebody who's really, really brave and a fighter. So he's just going to fight to the very, very end. So I think that if a Maximal's going to die, it's going to be Rhinox. If an Autobot's going to be a Toast, it's going to be Wheeljack. But it's not going to be both of them. It's going to be one or the other. Um, or no Autobots, or possibly no Autobots are going to die, and it's just going to be Rhinox. Or no Maximals are going to die, and it's just going to be Wheeljack. That's my theory, uh, but as for Terracons, they're all gone. <laughs> There's no survivors of Terracons, come on, that's just not happening. Um, but uh, as for the good guys, I've already given you my predictions. Who do you think is going to be? Let me know in the comments section below. This is all speculation, not spoiler. Uh, this is just all, something that uh, I like to talk about. 
And, you know, I could be totally wrong about all this and nobody's going to die. Just like in Transformers last night, uh, just because um, it just didn't happen. Or at least it happened and I can't remember. In any case, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's talk about it in the comments section below. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.